<laughs> the fuck are you doing? I seen you a little bit. Nah. Look at you. So, whew, we are headed to the fucking gym. <clears throat> it's a little later, it's like seven. I've been sleeping in. That's been nice. People's schedules are getting crazy. My mom gets in town tonight. No, she gets in town tomorrow. She gets in town tomorrow morning for a week. <sighs> whole week <laughs> so that should be fun she's gonna meet alex's parents for the first time that's never happened that should be interesting to say the least i spent most of the weekend testing the audio for the podcast and shit it's the most difficult thing to tell like, getting the audio right is so annoying working on that ordered an extra camera for the podcast so we can have multiple angles it was such a difficult decision because i didn't want to spend the money on another camera but at the same time i don't want it to look janky like i have this obsession with things looking good and there's a lot of reasons why people are like oh why don't you use your sony because of european tax laws these cameras don't record longer than 30 minutes because if they did they would be considered a different item and they would be taxed higher so you need a video camera or else so you have to have a 30 minute podcast. I don't really like leaving all that in the wind, so I needed a video camera. I bought the exact same Sony 4K camera that I use for Twitch now. So now we have two. I think we pretty much have everything. Holiday time, dog. Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. People love it. People love to be gluttonous. Giving. Saying thanks, dog. I like Thanksgiving, okay? I just like food. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm going to eat or if. I don't know what I'm going to do. My grill's broken. It's got me bummed out. I'm super bummed out. I know I'm being a bitch, but also I cannot achieve the same crust with cast iron. I've tested it many times. It does not. It's not the same. I just have to respectfully disagree with each other. You know, steak connoisseurs. The flame grill, dog. It got me feeling like a Burger King commercial. Yeah, so I'll probably just eat regular. I had a day the other day where I ate a sandwich. I just couldn't, I had no energy, so I was like, fuck it, I gotta eat something, I ate a sandwich. And that was cool. It was all right. This carnivore shit is not the easiest thing to stick to just because it's, for me, it's about implementing small things in my life because they make changes enough for me. I'm not, no, I'm not trying to be on the cover of men's health. I'm not trying to work out any kind of insecurities about myself. I just don't like it when I get to a point where I don't fit in some of the clothes that I have. Also making massive gains at the <laughs> I don't even know why I just said that. It was gonna be a joke, but now it's not. So I'm this pretty domestic morning. Grocery store, which is crazy because Thanksgiving is getting ready to pop off. Got mom's hotel situated. Talked to mom. Got some shit. Whoa, it's cold in this room now. Got some shit coming in the mail. Gotta set it up for the podcast room. Um that's pretty much it. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm on the way. Browns get back to the car. All right, I've been rewatching The Wire. I watched season one on the way to Japan. And so now, of course, I'm wrapped back into it for like the eighth time. This box just showed up. This box is from my man, my G, literally. John Geiger up in this biatch. Shout out to John. I know what's in that box because we talked on the DMs. Like, oh, when shoes are fire. And he said, oh, I'm gonna send you a pair. And I'm like, oh, thank you very fucking much. I really appreciate it. This box is just... Much love for hooking me up. He does not have to do that. It's ridiculously and highly appreciated that he does. Especially like, yeah, anyway. This other box, we gotta open some shit. We got the same camera. The idea is that we'll be able to use this stream deck to switch back and forth. This Roadcaster I got. This thing. Road podcaster joint. This thing's pretty sick. That's like one of the easiest audio interfaces I've ever used in my life. There is a snowstorm on the way. Colorado today, actually. I'm on flight early in the morning. Hopefully her shit does not get delayed. Ern is also coming back from Mexico tomorrow, so hopefully his shit does not get delayed. I have to go to the Apple store tonight to take my iPhone and my MacBook, I added the vlog on, into the Geniuses, because the iPhone needs the screen needs to get fixed so I can send it back and I get charged from Verizon. And my computer has a broken touch bar. But yeah, let me set up this other camera and do some test runs. I'm gonna do some test runs, you know what I'm saying? If all this works out. Hmm. Let's see if this other one works. It'll be so clutch. All right, we got both feeds on the screen, which is dope. Here, I'll show it to you. The other camera's out in the hallway. I'm using this camera, not the Sony, so I can see what I'm doing. All right, here's the real test. Oops. Jesus. Stream deck, this button, camera one. This button, this button, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. So that should be pretty easy. But I got it to work. I can't believe it. Oh me. It's quite a bit of snow, boy. 
Oh God. Good morning. My mom made her flight. We're going to go get her. MacBook, yesterday I didn't vlog. And the last thing I said is I don't want to go to the Mac store. That was very true. My computer's broken and it's one day out of warranty. And the phone that Verizon broke is also out of warranty. So it was a very not pleasant evening in my mind. Now we're going to drive to this fucking foot of snow. Some pretty good snow. We need the Tesla truck. See, we wouldn't have this problem. Plow right through this whole neighborhood. Oh, okay. You made it. She did. She yeah, did. She made it in one piece. Yeah, we gotta make it back in one piece. In a rush hour. Power increase. Nice. All right. 530. Yesterday. Good morning. Yesterday is kind of a wash. We went and picked up. Well, it wasn't a wash. The hell? It wasn't a wash, it was a good time, but there wasn't a lot to vlog. My mom is here. We drove to the airport in complete madness. Oh, it's not really that cool. Went to breakfast, came home, watched two John Hughes movies, uh, Home Alone, Uncle Buck. Went and got dinner and also watched another John Hughes movie, Playing Trains and Autos. So that was my pretty much day yesterday, just chilling with my mom. And even open my Geigers. I totally forgot to open my Geigers, so I'm gonna do that today. Ern's coming by today. I ate like complete, not complete shit yesterday, but it was hard yesterday. I didn't even want, I, I was forced. I ate breakfast and I had a burrito. They really didn't have anything on the menu to eat. So I got a breakfast burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it was trash. It was. And then last night we went out to dinner and I got tacos, but yeah, it's Thanksgiving. It's hard to stick to some sort of red. That used to be the biggest thing. Sticking to a regiment during the holidays is goofy. I think that you should do it if you can, like if it's easy, but if it gets to the point where you're like, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. This is horrible. I'm starving and there's nothing to eat. Then you should just eat because <laughs> you'll get back on track later. So, um, but yeah, speaking of staying halfway on the track, I'm going to the gym right now. My grill's still broken and I'm still bummed about it though. I just got done making my mom breakfast. Alex is still sleeping. It's still pretty early though. 8.30, we gotta go to the grocery store and get some stuff to make. Cause we're going to Alex's parents' house for Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. The day after tomorrow is Black Friday, which I don't do Black Friday things. Yeah, we just don't do them. I just, I, we don't release anything on Black Friday. We don't do the Black Friday sales. We don't, I just, there's enough people out there trying to get your money. So I'll give you a break on that day. Every other day, I'll try but not that day. But Black Friday, what is releasing is the John Geiger away game, 002's, 00 Deuce, and my man Geiger sent me out a pair. The lows, but I think they're so fire. I may even just sell all my shoes and just keep my Geiger's dog, you know what I mean? If you remove the black leather insole, you will notice that we added a second layer of comfort with padding. Geiger, J, G. I mean, he's killing it, dog. I mean, I, I wanna make shoes. John Geiger's making shoes. It's Thanksgiving. I don't really do the whole uh, super holiday vibes. I don't really get down with it. It's uh, kind of annoying to me. I like to be thankful every day. But I am extremely thankful that John and some of the other people that fuck with me think of me in these occasions, especially with uh, some of the commentary I give about the sneaker world. Appreciate it. It's appreciated greatly. Because I really wanted this pair. And because I wasn't in the best mood the other day with my computer, I didn't want to open them and be like partially bummed out because of my computer, which I still know nothing about. So, without further ado, the John Geiger. Oh. Dang, son, what you know about it, dog? Oh, of course, though, the question everybody asks me is, is it, is it like Boost? No, it's not. It's also not trying to be like Boost, so. Green hits, black. Green hits, the white laces, a shoe pop. So, we got wearing instructions. Pull front and back tabs outward. Put foot into shoe. You will fit like glove. Walk on clouds. Shout out to John, man. It's so sick. It's so dope that some people look out for me. You know, the amount of people that, when Boost was at its height, the amount of people that tried to, like, do collabs and partner and have me talk about their product on, their, on my channel or basically use me in some way and I haven't heard from them since. Um, those people are all like long gone and people like John, my boy Rack, so many people that I could name right now that still fuck with me, even though I have these crazy opinions and don't really necessarily go with the flow or the quo. These are sick, bro. I love the asymmetrical lacing. Clever. Bum, bum, bum. Shout out to Geiger, bro. I don't know what else to say other than thank you. So just keep saying thank you. These are dope. I kick somebody out the room. Blah. Thanksgiving is canceled. And y'all are going to the art museum. No, we're going to the aquarium. Oh, the aquarium. Yeah. Thanksgiving has just been canceled as far as, uh, uh, like family stuff goes. My mom is here, obviously, but Alex's mom is, her health is touch and go a lot. So she was trying to get ready for Thanksgiving, basically got 
sick from all the stress, trying to get everything organized, so she really just can't have guests. And so we're going with Ted Thanksgiving. I'm gonna cook up nothing. I made reservations at Black Hat, which is a really good restaurant in Boulder, which had one reservation left. That is where we're gonna go. I'm currently waiting on Dirty Urn, who is supposed to be here already. He's not here. He says he has great stories for us from Mexico. I'm willing to bet money he has no vlog footage, even though I have a text saying that he does. And we're waiting on uh, the finally some shirts that were fixed. The Fudo is King shirts were uh, getting fixed, are arriving today. So I'm kind of stuck here until they get here. There's also a shitload of snow still, so I don't really care if I'm stuck here. Pretty much where we're at. Podcast room is pretty much done here. We got sound insulation 350s we need to sell cord organizing for sure has not been done it's always the last thing for me but uh yeah like decorations and getting everything working right making sure everything's good you know shit like that just get ready for tomorrow see what's gucci omar you ready Welcome back. Yeah, welcome to the winter. The winter you're getting winter. sued. You're getting sued? My bit somebody tore the tendon in their hand. Police call me. What? They're suing me. It's a disaster. So. What? This is not what I expected. No, you to be... I also have lots of funny news about the honeymoon, but I called me one day and she's like, oh, I was going around the corner and there was a lady with a golden retriever. They, like, the dog started to get into her or whatever. She's like, I tried to go the other way and the lady, like, jumped in between and I guess her hand got hit. And even when she told me that, I'm like, I can't picture Maya biting anything anyone like mm. ever like if she just doesn't bite people then she's like well yeah the lady was like choking Maya out like had like a leash I, I don't really know the details because so she tells us this on vacation this is like the second day in and I'm just like Jesus Christ so I'm like well keep me in the loop if somebody calls if police like whatever just let me know what's going mm. on never heard nothing she told me when it happened the lady after starts screaming and oh my hand I'm calling the police and a woman came out and was like I'm an EMT I can look at it and she was like no leave me alone and like ran off so Ashley was like I don't know what to do like she left she was pissed whatever mm. and i'm thinking it can't be that serious my doesn't bite people like maybe this lady was just fucking flipping out today i get a call anglewood police is this ernest Fel i attacked a person the other day and i'm like well i don't know if she attacked the person i'm like i heard that you know there's a little scuffle and a woman tried to get in the middle and they're like yeah but the woman's blind it's a fucking service dog i'm a little thrown off how she's blind yet witnessed all this yeah. the colors of the dog the whole thing's a little weird that person grabbed my dog up and he's like yeah but you know technically if your dog's going after another dog and a human gets involved and that human gets bit, it's your dog's fault. But what can they even sue you for, though? The lady's getting her hand reconstructed. Gonna tell you right now, like, how this is gonna work. We're gonna give you a summons, pay some civil restitution, and we're gonna label your dog as a dangerous dog. Damn, I got dog. papers, dog. I know, I'm like, she's fucking 12. I'm like, yeah. she's an old fucking dog. I'm like, she's not a service dog, but she can do all those tasks. I'm like, my dogs are well-trained. Yeah. Like, I'm like, my dogs are good dog. Fucking, like, Diddy. Like, he's mm. like, you'll get a discovery pack where then you'll see the woman, her testimony, her phone number, all her info he's like and then you can call her see how you want to work it out she sounds like she wants to sue she's saying she has to reconstruct her entire hand it sounds just, like bullshit i mean I, it I, sounds I, like it complete does. bullshit she like. said she's already gone to the doctor i don't fucking know because i don't even know who the lady is she's already lying because she said ashley because he's like well whoever this ashley lady is flew, fled the scene like nobody fled the scene this girl called me the minute it happened the woman was screaming mm -hmm. and ran off she said i didn't know what to do so i that's said that's crazy my then maya's been sick the entire week. That's what I heard from Brandy that she was yeah. sick. Yeah, Brandy's like cleaning up shit stains all over the fucking car, but I feel like she got sick and stressed out from fucking getting choked out because there was nothing wrong. I sent her to the vet. That cost me 600 bucks God. to find out that x-rays and... Um, so wait, if the lady was blind, how is she choking out your dog? This is what I, none of this I get to. She has a your, service let dog. Let me be your lawyer. She, I'm going to get a lawyer. <laughs> if you get, like, I'm just like, how, how... A service trained dog isn't immune to fucking dog yeah. shit. It's not like if yeah. a if a dog runs up to a service trained dog, the service trained dog's like, excuse me, I'm working. This woman just jumped in between and just went for Maya. Yeah. I'm like, well, How that, does she do that if she was blind? That's what I don't get. That's what I don't get either, yeah. dude. And I guess that's what we're going to have to find out. And that's what a lawyer will have to find out if it gets to that. But it's like, yeah. Jesus Christ, Damn, I wasn't dude. expecting that. That call. sucks. He's like, listen, this lady knows her ADA rules well. She knows her animal attack rules. Like, this is some fucking bitch. Good for her. Like, the minute she got bit, I'm calling the police. And then Ashley's like, wait, hold on. And she, she just runs off. Tells the police that Ashley fucking ran off, yeah, yeah. which is fucked. Which right but there, but you she's can prove it. There's witness. Line. There's witnesses. To there all was this another shit. witness. Damn, that sucks, Yo, bro. Yo, fuck Mexico.
Uh, I mean, you're going to say I told you so the whole time. But I did. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Let me guess. The resort was kind of shitty. Food was kind of shitty. The resort the food's itself terrible. was fine. The food. Well, what? Like the bed and the room were fine? Maybe the, the bed, cold the room, drinks in the, the refrigerator. The, yeah, the <laughs> pools were beautiful. It was like beautiful looking. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. We just the food from day one, it's just like these huge buffets and it's the same shit every day. Yeah. Just like recycled and it's shitty food. And it's MSG ridden. Yeah. It's awful. And then they give you every night you get an a la carte mm -hmm. dinner. You get to like pick from a restaurant and go eat that for the night. And it's supposed to be better because they're like serving you. Yeah. That shit was straight garbage. Yeah. Well, see, the other problem with Riviera Maya, Tulum has like a town. Playa del Carmen has a town. Riviera Maya really doesn't. If you want to go to Playa del Carmen, you're talking a 35 minute cab ride. <laughs> Once you're on the resort, just to walk across the resort to get to where you get the fucking cabs is like a mile. Yeah. Every night I'm like, well, tomorrow we're going to Playa del Carmen. And then it gets late and we come off the beach and I'm like, eh, fuck it, we'll try this a la carte restaurant and see what it's like. Stay on the resort the whole time. The, we left one day for an expedition, but it's no different. They take you to this snorkeling Where's place. Where's the vlog? You already even said two in a text. You said I have footage. Because because the first footage was me being like, yo, this because it starts off. Get off the fucking plane. These <laughs> dudes are just like sharks. And I'm like, yo, we're at an airport. Guy, girl comes up all in. What do you need? And I'm like, oh, I just, I got happy shuttle. It's right here. It's out there. I'm going to, here, I'll take you there. I'll take you here, here, here. Are you going to do an expedition? And I'm like, yeah, probably. She's like, we have really good deals. And points. And the booth's all touristy. It's got a name. It's got all this shit. You know what? Maybe we'll look. If the expeditions are cheap here, we'll just pop whatever we want now get it out of the way. This guy's like, I'll give you this, I'll give you that. I'll do this expedition with that. Normally it's 400. Right now I'll do a, a buck 50 for you. All right, dude, where's the cat? He didn't say timeshare. He goes, we have a hotel. It's it's different than your hotel. Ours is real Mexican. It's like my job, I get paid. If I can bring you, you do a 45 minute tour. We have a quick breakfast, you leave. No more than 90 minutes total. I promise you, blah, 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 blah. I like look at Brandy and I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, what? He's like, oh, five minutes from your hotel. And I'm like, sure, dude, whatever. For a buck 50, save 400 bucks. To have another free breakfast what the fuck is because it? it's so fast and they're so in your face and you're like then we get to the hotel and I'm like I don't know I don't know and then I wake up in the morning like two hours before we're supposed to meet the dude and I start googling names and googling the hotel it's like oh it's not a hotel it's a timeshare it's the most aggressive sales pitch in the world these people will keep you there three to four hours then I google it it's 25 minutes from my hotel and then I text the guy and I'm like look bro I've read about this like I'm not trying to do this Oh. We're pretty much ready though. It looks good. It's too bad you're not gonna be here because you're gonna be in prison. Yeah. Jay's gonna come home, you're gonna go in. Ah, these fuckers. <laughs> it is so annoying because it's like, it's so hard. Like, you don't wanna, like, victim blame, but I wanted to say to the guy on the phone, like, yo, this lady fucking choked my dog. We don't know any of this situation, but That's yeah, you, you don't say said. that. And instead, you're just like, okay, well, all right, great. So, what do you need from me? Yeah, dog, it'll all come out in the wash. And dog, it's really Ashley's word against this lady's. And it won't matter to you get to court. Oh, the roads are still crazy. They're terrible. I got stuck this morning going to the gym. Yeah. And then I made sure to get it out because I would have never heard the end of it from Alex. So I got it out. And then I came back to the gym. My mom was like, did you get stuck this morning? What a fucking pain. Welcome home, bud. And then I know it sounds stupid, but also at the resort, I didn't realize because it's a resort, you have to check out. So they call my airport shuttle. My airport shuttle gets there. The bellboy like walks me to the shuttle, puts my shit in and goes, okay, give me your checkout ticket. And I go, what? He goes, yeah, I need your checkout ticket. Well, I, I didn't, I go, what ticket? I'm, I'm checked out. He goes, oh no, we need to cut your bracelets off. You need to settle up at the desk. So then I have to go back to the fucking desk. I'm waiting online for 20 minutes. I tip my driver like 20 bucks. I'm like, look, dude, don't leave me. I need to get to the airport. And he's looking at me like, you don't realize you have to check out. Thought of doing it because I wanted to make sure my expenses all matched before I left the fucking country and got hit with some fucking yeah. charge. And then I decide not to. And then that fucked me. Everything fucked me. Ernie's law, dog. I can't even think right now of all the other times that I got fucked over there. Things said they were one way and then another. It's just, it's a tricky place, Mexico. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, man. No, I couldn't even find... I we I don't think we had real Mexican food the entire time. And the queso that they give you is out of a fucking pump. It doesn't even have spices. Oh, what did you do? It's like hot dog fucking... I couldn't even... I ate more pizza on that resort. <laughs> I ate more like frozen cardboard fucking pizza. Every day I'd get like four slices of pizza. Brandon would be like, what's wrong with you? You can mix fruits and you can have some decent stuff. And I'm like, yeah, no. I skipped out on the sushi. I don't know, man. Maybe it could have been good. Yeah, right? I'm 
I'm like, the way everything else is low grade, I don't think they're going for grade A sushi, you know? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I guess that's it for me. Until these boxes come, I'm gonna go ship shit. Wish I was in a better mood to be more exciting, but I'm fucking pissed. What is your deal today, dude? The last couple of days. What is your deal? I'm gonna take you out in the snow. Alright, the Geigers are not made for the snow. Uh, they probably would be okay. But, oh, these aren't really made for the snow either. Oh, I need a jacket. Hold on, son. Go get it. Go get it. Go. What, are you scared? <laughs> Come on. Homie. It's right here. Come get it. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't say how they fit. First off, these are dumb fire. Once again, shout out to Geiger. Gotta get my screen right. Okay. So, I forgot. I forgot when I was talking about the Geigers. Not everybody watches every single video that I put out because some people like taking L's in life. <sighs> but how these fit, I would to tell you in case you want to buy them. I say they're true to size. I don't believe the last pair I got came with double insole. So with the double insole, they're a little snug for me with the socks that I have on. I take that second insole out, put the leather insole back in per the instructions. They're fucking perfect. They're really nice. They're great. I, lo I love this shoe. Mad respect to John. I fuck with, I fuck with the vision. Super cool. I I'm super thankful that I was thought of. Another thing about, I wore these most of the day, not too far, just around the house, but one thing that I do appreciate about this shoe, one thing that's like interesting to me is when you're taking a step, is the way that the back heel sort of grabs your uh, heel or the back side of your ankle, and you can almost feel it kind of not necessarily pull, but, but keeps it in place like a counterbalance. So I like the shoe. I think they're comfortable. Obviously, like I said earlier, it's not boost because everyone always asks me if it's same, no, but it's it's not supposed to be. It's not a runner. It's a chiller. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone who is celebrating. Those who are not celebrating, happy day to you regardless of what it should be. Hopefully all of you are at least uh, finding something to do even if it's not celebrate. Maybe at least you get like a day off. Something, something. Hopefully you can find something to be thankful for in the situation even if you're not in the situation. I love y'all. See you very, very soon. Not tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving. Podcast will be starting up soon. Just like finishing the nuts and bolts. Waiting on this last shipment to come in. It's shipping today. Friends and family, you have a lookbook right now. And public drops will be announced soon. December 12th, definitely. Man, Adam. Rest in peace. All right. Love y'all. Peace.